with a hero in our midst. The horses! Why, I'm prepared to forgive you the drubbing you gave those pricks at the crossroads. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? All right, Baron, come on. They ran from you, didn't Probably should have laid off the wine and bread before this fight, my friend. You seem a bit slow. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. So you knew they ran away? You knew they had run away from the start? Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles, couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? The kind who tells the truth, maybe? Let's see how they fled. Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. I'm afraid that's no one else's fault but your own. Hmm. Let's see. Did Tamara witness this? Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. Well then, how about the fighting? Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi, we tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and a pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table. Spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. All right, then what happened? What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloody sheets, dead. And it was my doing. 
Must be the reason for the botchling then. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher? My child was dead. Well, I guess I do feel kind of bad for him. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Oh, uh, we better explain it to him, I guess. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how... how does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Huh, well, let's see where he buried it, but I think I'm gonna go with his idea of not killing it. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Alright, let's do this. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Okay, well I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited to see what this boxing looks like. Uh, I've heard they're, they're completely hideous, so it should be pretty fun to see them. But uh, I'll just go ahead and keep following this bear and name. No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Alright, so from what I remember, he said this place wasn't too far from here. In fact, maybe it's right here. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. The graves dug up, and empty. What's that mean? Botchlings on the prowl. Look! Well, 
What the hell? That thing's hideous. Take it in your arms, quick. The Ninja Gun's got it, see? It'll bite us in the arse before we nab it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll comb it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. All right, that thing is crazy. Let me get this thing out. There we go. Okay, well. As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into another game. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we better get him back there quick before he eats his face off. Got a bad feeling about this one. Come on, Baron. We don't got time to waste. Yeah, look at that thing. It's like, oh my gosh. It's almost like an alien. I bet now he's regretting uh, beating his wife. Big time. You know, in like a strange way, though. I'll admit it, that thing's kind of cute. What is it doing, though? Okay. Great. Now, before I go into this, I do need to equip one thing. We should have some sort of potion to use on this. Wherever it may be. In fact, it should be here. Yeah, Spectre Oil. Okay. We'll just put it... Where do we usually do these? Oh, there we go. On the sword. Okay, we'll be good now. Oh, there's a few of them. I assume these guys won't be as tough as the Noon Wraith. But I think... Uh-oh, more of them. Okay, come on. We want to finish off that one first so we don't have to worry about two. There we go. One down. Now look at you. Oh, I hate when they duplicate themselves. In fact, there's probably one behind us right now, isn't there? Yep. Speak of the devil. Okay, let's eat up just a little bit. These specters, our thing must be out. Okay. There we go. Barely. There we go. Yeah, that was almost really bad. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a leopard. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. <laughs> yeah, I really hope we know what we're doing. Because if not, that thing is going to tear his family apart. More rates. Jeez. Okay, I'm going to check just to make sure. Yeah, our Spectre Oil is gone again. So let's see. We have one more. Really want to hope this lasts. And then also... I don't know why I didn't think of it before, but we do have this. These tend to help. If we can use them right, that is. Okay, there's one down. That was a bit faster. So the oil really helps, that's for sure. Although, one more. 
Okay, there we go. Stunned it. Oh, there's back of being two. It's not good. Okay, this is a lot more than we're used to. Damn. And I assume by now our Spectre Oils kind of run out. You only get about 20 hits with it. I really hope this is the last one. Oh, now we got one more. And who knows if more came after that. Okay, that should be enough. Wouldn't doubt it if that happened again. We're almost Just there, though. No, so think of one. It's important. It's, it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Couldn't answer that, to be honest. But right now, ugly might be a fitable name for it. What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this, lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. By blood's power I summon you. With your name I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Damn, that thing is fast. But hopefully it can help. Okay, we got some drowners. Should be fun. You know, out of all the enemies, these are probably my most hated ones. I really, for some reason, always have a tough time with them. More so than anything else. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the fact that they seem like they should be a normal enemy. So I just 
get cocky and take it way too sloppy? I don't know. That sounded kind of weird. But there we go. So we'll loot them up and keep following this damn lubricant. But yeah, I do have an easier time fighting bears, it seems like, than a pack of, uh, or a group, I should say, of drowners, which is quite odd. This must be it. Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Alright, and how about the monstrous horseshoe prints? Can we investigate those? Guess not yet. We'll leave those for last. Clothing. They change in here. Maybe. Okay, how about now for the horseshoes? Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Okay, good to know. Well then. Wants to show me something more. What is it, little guy? Lead the way. Oh crap, what is that? Come on, come close. Never seen these things before. Don't seem like too hard of an enemy, but they could be poisonous, you never know. Yeah, they keep shooting at the green goo. So I'm not sure what they do. What their specialty is. But they seem to be pretty weak to fire, so that's good. On the contrary, though, our sword, I think, just did break. So that's unfortunate, but hopefully it can last the rest of the mission without failing on me. Where is he going? You know, I really expected him to look a bit different after he transformed. Uh-oh. What are these? Almost look like drowners, but I don't think they are. What now, you piece of filth? Mishnafu just had a field day. Still worth a closer look. This is kind of cool, though. I like all the new enemies we've seen in this mission. Oh, jeez. What happened? That was a bit odd. Oh, shoot. More of them. Alright, time for some fire. They look like they... They need it. There we go. Oh no, more of them. Okay, hopefully that helps. We are low on health, that's for sure. You know, I'm sure... These guys seem hard right now, but I bet if our sword wasn't damaged, they probably wouldn't be too bad of an enemy. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for that. Okay. Should examine that horse carcass. Where's it at? Oh, here we go. What do we have here? Let's check the bones. Bones have been here a while. How about the saddle? Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Guess so. The ribs did look a bit torn up. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Okay, now the legs. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Oh, that is true. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Yeah, me too. 
Hmm. The trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. It's almost like a hunter's lodge. There's a bunch of nets and everything sprung up around the place. Maybe there's some big sea monsters. Let's take a look. A fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. Well, hello. Who's that? Other room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women. The Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy. Well, thank you, sir. For saying what your parents couldn't. Let's see. Let's go with this one. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir. But you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is hi. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. Well then, let's see where the Baron's wife is. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still it hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched him. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought to tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. Yeah, let's see about these marks. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. It's a bit weird. Let's see what happened next. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Same someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother. But my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Let's see why they helped them. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. Why the deck? Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. and shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Well then, thanks for the help. Hopefully she's not dead. 
but you never know. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace.